First of all, in this video, I'll show you how to perform one way ANOVA. If your uh, independent variable is having only two groups, whether you run independent sample t-test or one way ANOVA, both will give you the same result. Suppose if your independent variable is having more than two groups, so you are supposed to by default use any one of the ANOVA family of techniques. So usually you can use one way ANOVA when you have only one independent variable the two having either two groups or maybe more than two groups and your dv must be measured using metric data points so now for this demonstration purpose i'm going to use a data set associated with this paper so based on uh, here i have a construct called work family balance which is measured using five items and then i took the average of those five items and that is available in my data set and uh, gender is uh, coded as uh, using one and two so basically i have two groups so now i'll show you how to run the one way ANOVA analysis using SAS software for this uh, data example so this is the data so here i have gender and then work family balance score now let me connect this data into my SAS environment now you go to ANOVA click ANOVA now you select this gender under the fixed factors and then dependent variable is work family balance you keep it under dependent variable as and when you include the variables respective variables under each uh, column you will be able to get the output so here you can also get some more uh, details for example you can ask for the descriptive statistics you can also estimate the effect size um, partial eta square or eta square also you can uh, compute it and then if you want to create a different set of models you can also do that so in order to do the assumption check you can use this particular tab so homogeneity test you can do qq plots of residuals also you can do then um, post hoc test suppose if you have more than two groups so in those cases you can do the post hoc test so one of the preferred testers here uh, either you can use this tucky test or maybe bone for any test anything is fine and then descriptive plots also you can create it uh, uh, and then um, this is something called rain cloud plot then marginal means and then simple main effects there are multiple options available you can also explore it so when you want to do non-parametric test that is also possible here um, now if you check your results so ANOVA table tells me that the p-value is 0 0.007 which means that there exists a group difference with respect to gender and then the partial eta square I mean eta square value this is one of the fx size value used in ANOVA analysis so this is pretty low basically here a descriptive table tells me that a mean value for one of the category of gender is 5.11 and then for another category 4.61 so there exists a mean difference between this 5.11 and 4.61 so that is reflected in the form of a p-value here um, you can also do the test of equality of variances uh, that is also possible with the help of this Levin's test this is what your QQ plot and then post hoc comparison if you have more than two groups there for each and every comparison groups you will get the mean difference as well as the corresponding significant value based on the Tucky test. So this is how you can also infer your ANOVA result. Thank you.